Alrighty, back to Zelda. Got a little distracted for a bit there in the middle of our side quest because uh, there was a bit of a scare where uh, this is a ripple effect you hear about in every playthrough at this point to some extent, but at different times because of how like all over the place the backlog is. But Toaster's computer caught on a fire, so he was without computer for a bit, and it sounded like he was going to be without computer for a lot longer than he ended up being. So I was like, hey, Ka, if you were... <laughs> Uh, if you still want to do that that pseudo regalia mod you met you talked you mentioned before uh, I might need to play something to cover up for Not being able to make any videos for password or Baldur's Gate for the next week or two Well past well Toaster doesn't have a computer, but that didn't happen because you got a, a, a temporary replacement uh, GPU pretty quickly But that did mean that I did have a mod for Sudo Regali to play, so like, oh shit, I, I mean, I just want to get to that now, like, that's exciting, let's just play that now, no matter how messed up the backlog is. Who cares if it airs in, like, May? Let's just play it now. Uh, but then I was like, ugh, but I decided to finally air ba Black Sad after Talos Principle, so I'm like, okay, so the next game has to be a puzzle game, so, oh, a new Portal campaign mod campaign came out, let's play Portal Revolution. And then we'll play Pseudo Regalia. So I went off and played two other six hour games between Zelda sessions when, I, when Zelda is kind of the one I should be getting back to. So let's finally do that. <laughs> back to Zelda. This all makes no sense if you're not a Patreon subscriber because you're not getting these videos at a time that's in any way related to uh, when I made them, but instead some greatly delayed period of time where everything's staggered and some of the things I'm talking about haven't even come out yet because they come out months after this video comes out, which will be like next month or something. I don't know. It's messy. Backlogging a bunch of games is staggered and weird and confusing and you get a slightly less confusing version sometimes if you're on Patreon, but not entirely. Uh, but this does somewhat indicate... This does like explain on some level, gives you a little bit of a, a little window into... Uh, how logistically messy and chaotic it gets to run a, a channel that has all these shows on it and so on, let alone multiple channels. Alright, so last time we went across the br I ignored this place at first, went across the bridge and dealt with the local issue, and uh, I believe that then sent that person back up to the air- the... the stable that's up in the snow? Oh, is this the snow area? No, that's not the snow area. Oh, the snow is snow up here, yeah. So we can probably serenade that great fairy and make them happy when I get back to that snowfield stable. But first, before I forget about the stable, I want to do look into whatever Tabantha quest there is here before we leave. Oh. Hey, partner, how's it going? You find any leads? Hmm. Where have the white goats gone? Why'd they escape in the first place? How is Princess Zelda involved? The more mysteries there are, the brighter a, report, a reporter's spirit burns. If you still haven't talked to the stable hand, Chork... <laughs> Chork. Go and talk to him now. We've got to solve this mystery. After I finish up his quest and the Great Fairies, I might then uh, look into continuing the story a little bit? But I think I still want to check out, like... The town, which itself might be a big nightmarish project to poke at, we'll see how much I, how much I want to get invested in it. But there is like a little town somewhere that's like being worked on, like the new Terry Town or something, which like last time was a whole thing that was kind of fun to poke at, and it was like a it's a pretty like memorable part of the game for most people. Uh, and I've like just kind of dodged around it. I think it's like vaguely in this area. There's just like a development that just looks like something's going on over there, and I haven't quite looked closer yet. I. Th think this giant ass game that we've been playing longer than the original one that just terrifies me deep down in my soul one day in my free time i'll fill in the leftover gap over here so the map will be completed there's not a ton going down in the underworld it's not that exciting it's really cool as a concept like when i went when i first went down there and we were investigating like the the giant mine or whatever that that arc was really interesting like just the, the creepiness of it the unique threats of people permanently damaging your health, permanently, quote unquote. Uh, the relationship it has with the overworld and real and piecing that together. Uh, the way that the statues all collectively point across the abyss. The way the light works. There's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff down here. 
but so so little of the story interacts with down here, and also the mechanics involved kind of flatten out really quickly, that it's just not that interesting in the long term. In particular because the game is so open that there, a, a space like that that feels like a sort of survival horror space just doesn't actually have much in the way of stakes because you can literally just teleport around anywhere you want in any of the three layers the game takes place on at any moment that you're not currently in combat, basically. You could, there's just nothing stopping for you. So the resources don't matter, so the risks don't apply, so... Uh, well, it seemed interesting. <laughs> That's kind of where it ends. Yo! Uh, no, I mean... Uh, good evening! Yeah! Welcome to Tabantha Bridge Stable. You know, you're getting off a kind of swordsman vibe. Oh, because you are one. Let's see. Whoa, a real live swordsman? Uh, sorry, I said that too loud. Uh, I, I, I mean, uh, I, I'm sorry, I got a little too excited there. Uh, my name is Kenyo. I want to be a swordsman someday. So it's like, a real live swordsman? And you look at me, I have a, I have a bow, a shield, and a stick. <laughs> so I'm doing all this work to bulk, to bulk up. Nice to meet ya. I'd be so buff today that I won't even need a towing harness to carry lumber stuff. If you ever need to build something, take anything you want from a building material storage area. You find them around, uh, along the road, just about every stable has one too. Okay, I don't need a tutorial about towing harnesses. Playing this game for one million years. Where's Chork? Gaggle? Eh? Something bothering you, young man? Oh, could it be? Is this bright young fellow interested in the poster, too? Reports say this is a picture of a beast that's been rumored to be lurking somewhere in Hyrule. It's been the talk of all the stables. They say that Princess Zelda herself has been seen traveling with this beast. Look at those tusks. What a fearsome creature. I wonder where this beast is right now. Quite a mystery, don't you think? <sighs> if I were younger, I'd hike to all the stables to find out if there's a, um, any truth to these rumors. The big tusks? Those are just the guys hanging out in the jungle, right? Hey! Hey! Taking a rest here? Been a long journey, I figured to bant the bridge stable was a good place to stop and catch my breath. With all that trail all that tall trees nearby, it was easy to stop to spot from far away. Ah. I don't need to hear about the newspaper that I'm working for. Dobby. Ah, uh, uh, good evening. Well, uh my mom and dad are always busy. So my sibling and I try to help out. If you want to learn more, some stuff about a stable, try asking my brother and sister outside. Hi. Huh? Good day. Uh, no. Good evening. Yeah, that's right. Well, Ooh. welcome to our stable. <laughs> Sorry, I'm nervous. You're our first new customer in a while. You're a traveler, aren't you? This stable is so far to the west that we don't get many new customers. So, did you come talk to me because you want to ask about the stable? Okay. As I suspected, you just had this look about you that said, I hope someone tells me about this amazing place. Well, allow me to give you an explanation of Tabantha Bridge Stable. Okay, so, if you want to rest here, go to the... Okay, I'm done. I want a tutorial. Where's Chork? This guy, is this guy Chork? Did I walk past this person? Oh. Fuck. <laughs> the person right next to him. Hey, buddy. Seen some white goats around here? Given those goats all the love and care in the world, but the other day they ran off together. Didn't even finish all their food before they left. The Hylian pine cones weren't eaten. I followed Princess Zelda's recipe perfectly, but could it have been the feed that drove them off? Yeah, Princess Zelda shared a recipe when she visited the stable a while back. It's really amazing how much she knows about animals. I never would have expected her to be developing healthy feed recipes. In this case, it's a recipe for a special kind of feed for white goats. The main ingredient is fresh Hylian pine cones. It's actually pretty unusual. It requires you to mix the pine cones in whole. 
you don't grind them down or anything. If you don't want my, what I don't, I didn't want my wonderful white goats to eat the recipe the princess gave me, so I put it in a glass bottle. A big storm came through one day, and it blew the bottle off somewhere. I wasn't able to find it after that, so I've been making a recipe from memory since then. But what would make my white goats spit up? The Hylian pine cones would run off like that. Did they... They really hate Princess Zelda's recipe that much? Okay, so he definitely doesn't remember the recipe, basically, is what's going on. So he had a he had a bottle and it blew off somewhere. That's a little scary. Not the idea of a bottle blowing off. I mean, like, how the fuck am I gonna find that? Hmm. I guess the question of the goats and the recipe are two different things. So the road leads down here. This is the weird mushroomy looking place. I feel like we've never come here or had a reason to. Hylian pine cones are heading in this direction. Oh, they're heading over here. Oh yeah. Because there's like a string of them at the beginning, so they're, they're just a path. Okay. So let's ignore the recipe subplot for a minute. I don't know if we actually can find it in a bottle somewhere. Maybe that'll be the next objective is I find the goats and then there's the question of how to deal with uh, getting them back or getting them to eat. It is still going. Goats. Oh, the bottle. What? Whoa! Those are my white goats! So this is where they ran off to. There, there. I'm just so glad to see you. Are all of you okay? You're the one who found them. Thank you. I won't forget this. This bottle. This is what I was using to keep Princess Zelda's recipe safe. Let me see it, uh... It checked this recipe. Hmm, yes, yes. Wait. Oh no. Grind the pine cones into a powder. I'm not supposed to use Hylian pine cone hole? <laughs> Literally the exact opposite of what I thought. Don't oh, I'm a fool. I should have known something was off. It did look really hard to eat. My poor sweet goats, they must have run off because of the awful food I was making them eat. I'm so sorry. I hurt all I hurt I hurt you all when I thought I was helping. It was my fault all along. I could have run away too. I can't believe I doubted the recipe the Princess Zelda shared with me. Should have noticed my mistake right away. After all, all I want to do is all I want to to take after all, I really want to take the best possible care of the goats. But it's not just about what kind of food you feed them, right? It's important to show them you care with all your heart. I swear that from now on, I will take you all I will take care of you all with the same kindness and compassion that Princess Zelda displays. That's the best way to show my gratitude for her sharing the recipe with me. Oh, I really can't thank you enough for fighting the white goats and the recipe. We're gonna head back into the stable. You take care. Hey, partner. I saw everything, partner. I can't believe that it worked out with the thing and the way that maybe the white goats is bad. It makes you wonder, huh? You've done ten cases. Okay, bye. Goodbye. That last conversation with that guy went on for so long that I genuinely started to daydream a little bit and then forgot what we were talking about a little bit, even though I was reading it out loud in real time. <laughs> like, I just kind of zoned out and then zo came back to while still reading and was like, oh yeah, we're still going. Wow, he's really still talking. Holy shit. <laughs> like, there's this... <laughs> we already fully understand the entire stakes of the entire scenario already before the the conclusion conversation starts so the fact that he 
manage to have that much dialogue about it is genuinely impressive. I'm like, I, there's, there's no, this was a very simple quest. The only reveal was, oh, I was supposed to grind him up instead of leaving him in hole. Fuck. <laughs> and that's the end of the conversation. So I do have a moment of just fear in my heart when you get through all that and then the other guy is like, what if I, what if we, what if I summarize the quest you just did? What if I summarize the entire quest in excruciating detail? I'm like, oh, cool. <laughs> all right. Let's look. Yep, there's the band. Hello, hello! I know you, traveler. You've had a delightful development. Look! I mean, listen, it's Eustace. He and his horn are back in our troop. It's heartbreaking to think of the poor fellow getting stuck in a hole on the way to Rito Village. Note to self, Eustace doesn't get to drive the cart anymore. But I'm glad he's out of this funk and fit as a fiddle. Eustace's horn will blow the stable trotters back on course. Now that Eustace is here, we can bring the sound of his horn to the Great Fairy. It would be wonderful if we could go and perform for her right away. But of course, there's always something holding up the show. Our breezer's roof is broken, so we'd be at the mercy of the elements. Imagine if we were caught in the snow. Why, we might fall ill, and how could we perform our best then? It's literally in line of sight up there. You can just see it right there. Like, that's your destination. It's right there. It's right there. I can see it. Just go. I did try to attach a roof to Breezer, but I couldn't reach high enough to, to do more, more than set up some posts. If we can't put a roof on Breezer, our performance for the Great Fairy is as good as cancelled. Okay. Well, I guess we're doomed. Oops. Eh. I guess this is all we're doing, not like anything like good. Not like an actual. Why are there rocks? I don't think there's like a unique roof asset, is there? Like a covered wagon lying around? We simply must put on performance for the Great Fairy. Our music will be just the thing to encourage her out of her bud. Did I hear you say you'll take us to where the Great Fairy awaits? I appreciate the sentiment, but our breezer needs a roof to keep off the snow before we can get to the Great Fairy. Oh, it got pretty off-center, didn't it? <laughs> Is there something out there? That's a rock. Wow, it, look, it looked more more centered from my perspective at the time. There we go. Whoops. I'll take you. Wonderful. Now that our breezer has a roof, I'd very much appreciate a ride. You say your horse died? All aboard. The road to the Red Fairy st starts by going around from the left and climbing a little ways up the mountain. I'll leave the rest up to you, good sir. Please release my my little pony god horse. Yeah. Huh? Take oh. Argo. Take oh. Argo. If you're watching this uh, at basically any possible time, uh, Dead Laws has begun on the No Playing Games channel, featuring. Oops. Not the bridle. Featuring my character named Argo. Go watch Dead Laws with Argo. He's not a horse. He's also not, he's not yellow or purple. He's a little purple. There's, there is purple. That's why the name Argo came to mind. I probably said that when I named him, but I'll say it again. You can't stop me. No one can stop me. Where's the, which side of this thing is the what side of this thing? 
Okay, that side's the front. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know why I'm hitting up lately. Okay, no one die. It's important. Oh boy. There's the horrifyingly dangerous dragon thing. Literally killed my horse to death. Forgot that was even in the cards. You guys being weird about my jostling you too too mightily. Oi! Oh, great fairy! The stable trotters have arrived. We've done it. You have our thanks. You've taken us right where we needed to be. All right, everyone. No time to dawdle. Strike up the band. Our audience is the great fairy herself. What's this gross, fucked up glue you've attached to everything? Who did this to our wagon? The great fairy has returned to us. This, this is one of the greatest days of my life. Uh. See if it's better than the other times that this exact thing happened already. The great fairy herself enjoyed my hum humble horn playing. What a day. What a divine presence. What splendor. I will remember this moment all my life. We can't hang around all day. We must return to the stable to share the good news. We're not even gonna like actually talk to her or anything. Thank you again. Sleeves only. Your reward. Now, now, don't be shy. Oops. Yeah, yeah. Oopsie. L that's left the old wallet pretty light. That's but that's no excuse to skip on our thanks. A clear conscience is worth every rupee. Yeah, yeah. The captivating Miha is now at peace. But she wasn't the only great fairy shut away in a flower bud. Oh. That is why the show must go on to the next great fairy's hiding place. Oh yes, I'll be borrowing this horse so that I can get to the next destination. Oh. It won't cause you any trouble. We'll do the responsible thing and return your steed to the stable. Don't you worry. Yeah, yeah. Well then, traveler, thank you again. They just took my horse away. They just stranded me out here. I have to walk in the cold for like a hundred meters. So, you're the one who arranged those soothing sounds for me. I would have liked to be relaxed by someone bigger, but... <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, a slim little lad like you is fine too, I suppose. It seems the world is not so corrupted as I thought. To thank you for opening my eyes, I can enhance your clothing. But of course, I require the necessary materials to do it. Huh. With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing a fair amount. Mm -hmm. Which ones did I already upgrade? Does it say what level they are? Oh, they're there, yeah. I'm looking for the ones I've already upgraded to make them stronger. 
makes sense that I would have gone for the, the minor set. I think it looks neat. And it's not just because it's a mecha fursuit. It has reasonably high defense, and it also, rather notably, requires a status... Uh, requires uh, resources to upgrade it that I just have one billion of. Yeah, double enhance a set and you get a new you get a new special effect, but only if there happens to be one, and there's no way of knowing in advance unless you look it up online, I guess. And I don't know if this one has one. Because I did not look it up online. Glow! Every miner's top requires a miner's bottom! Increase their defense by two levels. <clears throat> Any new effect? Just says glow. Well, it's level. It's got eight defense now for the whole set. That's neat. Just kind of poking around to see what else I leveled up already. Was there any? Was there anything else? Ah, the radiant. Probably just because I always have so much luminous stone to begin with. Ah, and the stealth set. I don't have any more of those pieces. Inevitably, the struggle here is that, like... What the fuck? <laughs> How do you know what resources to farm for in advance? So, so now, I, now I'm like on a mi I'll like be on a mission to go hunting for those things, but that, that's gonna be kind of rough. I only ever found one piece of the rubber set, huh? That one stood out to me early on, but then we just never... Never again. Might as well just upgrade some of the stuff just that I can. Never know what you might switch to. And also, it's just like, this is just what these resources are for, right? What? Wow. Crazy. They also make the upgrading process just slow enough that I'm like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> I'm going to die now. Oh God, it's so cold here. What am I doing? Is that a sign? What's that guy doing? No. Oh, it's just a donkey. Okay. I guess I don't need to go anywhere because I can just teleport anyway. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. There we go. Royal Princess Sightings. Okay. I still have a text document keeping track of the ones that are left. Dueling Peaks, Front Hill, South of Kala Stable, East of Kala Stable, Lanaria Wetlands, Wetland Stable, there we go. I'm trying to figure out what the wetlands were, because we have the uh, Gerudo Canyon Stable and the Wetland Stable left, and that should be the only ones left in the game, I think. But I was like, hang on a minute. <laughs> Isn't like most of the northeast of this map wet? I guess some of it's like rainforest, like there's other categories, but I did not have a strong mental map of where the wetlands would be. Um, is this not the place with the well? Oh, no, he's here. It must be new. 
apples. Hey, partner. You have a good day? Oh, I actually hold that thought. We can squawk all about it later. Got a very interesting lead about our missing princess. We could have a pretty huge story here. Sounds like if one not sounds as if one night a while back, and not sure how far, Princess Zelda borrowed the stable's farm tools. It's a bit unusual, but why would our princess need farm tools? But the story has another odd twist. She promised to return them, and didn't, which is rude, so... <laughs> now this might be seem trivial, she's a busy princess after all. Still, these are strange times, so I got to thinking, only weapons decayed during the upheaval. Maybe the princess was in desperate need for tools for... Wait, Pen, hold on. You've gotten ahead of yourself. We need to gather the facts. When, what, where, who. Let's start at the beginning. I heard that a main a man named Isra lent uh, lent her the tools. He's right around here. Watches over the stable's raft, I heard. Let's get to work, partner. That's a Garuda. There's Beetle. I rarely have a reason to interact with him. I have talked to this place before. Check it to see if I have the token or not. Buy it. This game makes it weirdly hard to just see what someone's name is. Like, I, I, if you, you wonder why I was talking to everyone in the last place, is because I don't know what I don't know who the people are. Like Gladys, and then huh? And then, huh? Every time you look at him, it just doesn't show his name. You lock on to him, it doesn't show his name. You pretty much just have to talk to everybody. Because just so many of the names don't show up. I need to reach my friend! I'm so... I'm kind of done with that entire category of Korok. I'm done with Koroks in general. This far in, I'm just kind of over it. I keep thinking this is the thing you can pick up. It always looks like something. Good evening, Mr. Uh, Mr. Customer, sir. Where to the wise? While the sun is down, don't even think about wandering into the forest near here. We've got a monster problem. A scary one moved in and made a forest a forestress uh, fortress. Anyway, it's BAD bad news and it brought some other monsters with it. And look! Huh. It worked so hard to build a well and now I can't even use it. I mean, it's not that hard to make a new well, but aren't there two wells within the walls of this place? What if the mon monster n monster decides to raid us? I, I can't sleep. I can barely talk. Aww. I thought maybe I'd try a sneak attack from behind. You know, stay out of their field of view. It did not go well. If someone could at least get that big one to leave, Aww. we'll keep wishing. But for now, I really would steer clear of the forest. What could go wrong? I'm here to destroy the monster. I thought that rock was the monster. I definitely thought it was gonna... Oh, uh, wait, it was just a moblin? Okay. first glance, I thought the big rock was going to be the monster. Oh, I think it's dead already. I just keep doing single swings. That's my first time I'm picked up a boomerang? I guess I keep finding weird boomerangs instead of a regular boomerang. It broke. Oh, it just deleted him in breaking. Damn. Lazal. Wait, that's my first time picking up a Lazalva bow? My first time picking up a Lazalva bow? <laughs> it's gotta be because I'll only find variations of them and never find the generic one, right? 
So this is pointing to a place. Oh god. Get him. That's enough of y'all. Ya ha ha. Distant fire. Just to go talk to them to report the defeated moblin. It's just a moblin, huh? Took about two seconds to kill <laughs> compared to the conversation. But this is not the quest, it's just another thing that's here. It was you, wasn't it, Mr. Customer? You got rid of that nasty monster, I knew it. I thought I saw you among the trees, putting in the work and get rid of that nasty monster. Amazing, thank you. I was so scared. I'm just a kid, so I don't have any money or anything, but I have to reward you for getting rid of that monster, so I'll give you two pony points! Wow! Made up rewards! I think I already know what the next- already heard what the next one would be and it didn't really sound good. Wow, one more horse. Okay. Be gone, birds. I just don't particularly care about, uh, horses. They're rarely actually worth using in any real way. So for the most part, it's just like, oh man, just... You have your one horse, right? Like, what do you need more horses for? It's stupid. <laughs> uh, missing farm tools. The stable's raft, so that's that's them down there. So, uh, sorry, I'm a little busy right now. So the princess? Oh, I was wondering when you guys would show up. You work with the pen from the newspaper, right? I don't want to get this out because I don't want people to think I'm saying bad things about Princess Zelda. But she borrowed our stable's farm tools and hasn't given them back. Ah. That was a long time ago, but I do remember that she said that she said she needed them for something at Flora's sandbar. It's around the river bend and a good distance after that. Ah. Take the raft there myself, but after that stuff fell from the sky, I'm having a hard time getting down the river. You might say I'm in a, in a bind. I knew I could clear this mess up if someone would take me down river to Flora Sandbar on the raft. Okay, there are stuff around. Okay. I was worried. I'm like, do I need to go get, like, a... Oroc leaf or something? When I see rafts like this, I just think, like, how do you get back? It's a river. Battery. Eh. Okay. Uh. Now nah, I think that's it. That's all I get. All right. So let's put this in a not stupid place then. Ah. Uh. I can take you. You mean what do you mean by that, fella? You take me to Flora Sandbar? Thanks. Can't tell you how much I appreciate you offering to do that. Don't forget to cut the rope when you're ready to launch. Ooh. 
Oh, there it is. That's Dean? You told me to do it. Alright, so he said it's past the bend. I'm sure it stands up and stands out in some way. Careful at the river bend. <laughs> Past those ruins. Those ruins? That's the Karak I found. Are those ruins? I guess these are ruins because they fall from the sky. They're just so odd because they're just big rocks. Okay, straight down river. Okay, it's probably that thing we see straight ahead that has like a structure of some kind. This is the kind of pulse pounding action and incredible adventure that you only ever experience in Tears of the Kingdom. A revolutionary new Zelda game that has only improved the formula. Look at us! Look at us go! <laughs> ah! Ooh, we made it. Oh. Did a great job getting us here. Where'd you learn how to handle a raft like that? That'd be a rough, a rough run, but it'll turn out fine. Ah. Huh? Up in the sky. There's something, uh, someone coming at us. You finally caught up with you two. Just flying around the whole area, partner, trying to find your, our, our facts. Fine, yeah. When I saw you on this raft, I figured you'd chase down our story, so I flew right down to help, but, uh, where are we? Hey! What do you think you're doing just barging in here? This place is for flowers and plants. All of them precious. You better watch out. You'll rue the day you trample on any of them. Does it don't walk in any of the flowers puzzle? Whoa, who's this? Ever met her, ever, ne ever met her before, partner? Uh -huh. Sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for some farm tools that I lent to Princess Zelda a ways back. I promise we won't pick any flowers. Uh -huh. Picking them? I'm more worried about you kicking them. Wait a minute, farm tools? Did you say something about farm tools? Uh -huh. That's right, some farm tools from our stable. I want them back. Oh, well, that's my fault. I have them. This area is home to Princess Zelda's plant sanctuary. She asked me to take care of this special place for her. She loved these plants and spent a lot of time here, making sure the garden beds were happy homes for them. We meant to return the tools after we finished our work here, but the princess, well, they say she went missing. And all our hard work was ruined when those darn ruins came crashing down. It's really been awful. I've been working so hard since then to try to make it all nice again. Oh. Really? That's what happened. Now I think about it, I didn't, I didn't tell the princess how soon I needed the stable's tools back. As long as they're in good condition, it's no problem. I'll just go ahead and take them with me, with me when I'm done. If you're done. Now, I feel guilty for some reason. Didn't mean to make you hurry it up. Mm. All this was about a sanctuary for plants and flowers, huh? Sounds like our princess. Sounds like our princess to find time to work on a garden alongside folks restoring while, while restoring Hyrule. Uh. I've tried to make these garden beds as perfect as they were before. Just so hard on my own. If only someone would help. Ah. Sure, glad to help. Keep the tools a little longer, and here's a tip. 
don't overwork the soil. And also, nope. No, that's all I got. Uh, what's with that face? Ma. You said you'll help. I accept your offer. What? Uh, I didn't say that. Wow. Well, close enough. So what? So what if you don't say what you really think? I won't hold that against you. Now, how about you go work that soil like you said? I'll go tend to the flowers. We'll have this whole garden back in beautiful shape by the time the Princess Zelda returns. It'll be the pride of Hyrule. Oh, and here's a tip from me. Put your back into it. Uh, I can't talk my way out of this one. You literally can. It's easy. You just leave. And she'd uh, probably wreck the tools if she used them wrong. Okay. Fine. Seems like I'm up the creek without a paddle here. Or down it. Either way, I'll help. You can go. I'll stay here. What else have I got to do, right? Well, it seems like, seems like we got those facts we wanted. And those two, uh, worked it out, I guess. Can't wait to write this up. Our readers love glimpses into the princess's life. Here she was, helping to create a garden. Except the story is an issue. Expect this story in an issue of the paper soon. It'll be a real headline. We worked together to blah, 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 blah. Money. Money! So long! Alright. I think only one of those left to go. Let's see, we're looking for Gerudo Canyon Stable. Hmm. I think we're gonna want to continue forward from there and hope for the best. Well, there it is. <laughs> Just didn't quite find this, I guess, because we, ne we never actually walked forward to this canyon on foot. Admittedly, there was a lot of nature in the way. So I don't think I initially had anti-coldness stuff ready. Oh my goodness. Out of control. Uh, me out. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. We're fine. It's fine. Oh. Um. Uh, good job making it in there. I mean, it's impressive you came all this way, but the stable has closed its doors for good. Thanks to this extreme weather, almost no one rides through here. We get very few visitors of any sort. Making things worse, Princess Zelda gave the order that everyone had to stay away from our well. We need that water. Not to mention the mushrooms that grow inside it. It's only temporary. It'll help, she said. I'll be right back to fix it, she said. Then she completely abandoned us. Oh, sorry about that. The sadness just gets to me sometimes. Anyway, if, if you're looking for a space to rest, uh, I recommend Kara Kara Bazaar. Just uh, head out of here, turn west. Keep going for a while, and there you'll find it. It's a bit of a hike, but if you can find some transportation at the desert's entrance, you can get there in no time. As for me, I've got the mountain of junk to clear out, so I'll get back to it. Uh, can't leave a mess while I close things down. How am I going to deal with all this stuff? Yeah, I've pecked away. What is this objective? So he's just supposed to. So I just want to break it all. Okay. Arrows. Arrows are so hard to get in this game sometimes. 
Starve is that they just kind of took away a lot of the ways that you, uh... Oopsie. It took away a lot of the ways that you used to be able to just kind of, like, cut down grass. I did it. I obliterated all of the wood, which magically is gone now somehow. Don't cons don't think about that. And also, I uh, vac I just consumed everything. It's all mine now. Give it to me. I need to focus on cleaning this place up for now. Whoa! All that junk's just gone. I wasn't sure what you were up to, truth be told, but clearly it was all part of the mas part of masterfully removing that junk. You saved me. Thank you. Sort of let the junk pile and. Pile of the junk pile build and build until it blocked the entrance, which was a real problem. Still some work to be done, but thanks to you, I can get out of this place. That said, given that I'm wearing the uniform and the stable still standing, uh, would you be my final customer? Welcome to the Gerudo Canyon Stable. You, sir, have the honor of being the very last guest the stable will ever have. And that, to your customer, serves commemoration. In the form of one pa pony point. Wow. Well, that appears to be the end of my time as a stable hand. It's been a pleasure, sir, and I sincerely hope your journey ahead is a fruitful one. Now then, I'll just have... I still have a little more junk to clear away, so I better get back to it. Thank you again for all your help. No, you don't. I destroyed everything. Huh? Forgot about those. The Stable Association sent us those frames a while back. It sort of got buried under all the junk. Let me take off that wrapping. They're even nicer than I thought. Maybe a little art on the walls would be nice so that the stable's final days don't have to be so lonely. He's just like immediately like, wait, hang on a minute. How do I keep escalating this? I feel like the end result's just going to be keeping the stable, basically. Oh. Thank you for helping with the clearing. We're closed, so obviously we can't offer you lodging, but you're welcome to shelter from the weather here. Yep, just stand around passing the time until the weather clears. Uh. Come on, Piav, you can't just... Could have left at least one bed out. Oh well. Ah. Empty frame caught your eye? Hmm. I was so focused on cleaning up, I completely forgot about these frames in the Stable Association sent me. I owe this stable a lot. After all the good years it's given me, I'd like to give up something nice so I can go out of I, so I can go out in style. You know, I heard an interesting story from the Rito traveler who stopped by here once. Ah. There's this local attraction nearby, Spectacle Rock. Just check out your map. This place is famous. The traveler told me that that while they were flying over Spectacle Rock, they glanced down and saw it smiling. That's what I want to frame. Okay, so there's. Oh. Smiling Spectacle Rock, so they want you to get special photos of this place. I don't know if I want to get fully sucked into this thing. There's just infinite characters. Anyway, help to the clutter. Thanks for the arrows. I now have... Uh, 70. Oh ho ho. Hello, partner. What's brought you all the way out here? I'd heard that visitors stopped coming by this stable. So this place had to shut down. Here you are. Temperature is really scorching my feathers, but just look at you, kid. Cool, calm, and collected. I've come to this stable because my, my sources were chirping about a problem with the well here. Actually, they say Princess Zelda ca caused the problem. She shut down this well and declared it off-limits. Without its water, the stable wouldn't... Uh, couldn't keep travelers, horses, or the workers refreshed. The well also provided a steady supply of mushrooms to folks here. So why did the princess want everyone to stay away from it? That's a big question. And we're short on answers. 
The owner, who's stuck here, is just as puzzled as anyone else. And I can't weasel down the well to see what she was so concerned about. My wings are too wide. You, def you can definitely fit in there. You, don't you can't lie to me. I wish there was some way we'd get the details, but it seems like the deadest of dead ends to me. Okay, fine. Yeah, it's in Burl, helpless and can't do anything. Okay, fine. Here I go again. Gone. The blocked well. It's full of enemies. It's bad in here. Yep. Yeah, for the safety of everyone up there, we probably should defeat them. Ow. That was a lot of health. I need that to... Ow! What? Why do they do so much damage? Stop it, let me swing my weapon, dick. Alright, now come here. I worry for anyone who deems it worth their time to actually, like, sit here and go through all those. And, like, actually, like, photograph every item in the game. Like, that's nuts to me. That's... That has to be so time-consuming. A Gerudo Scimitar. It's like a scimitar you can go through like, really far away. Like, look how far away and whoa. Anyway... <sighs> Oh no, he's, uh, he's on fire. I better help him out. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no! So don't get the lightning guy wet. Oh my god. Alright, well he's in the water. <laughs> oh no, I killed that bird. That, that's not a bird. <laughs> Fish. Wow. Yeah! Partner, your monster's down there. You okay? Ow! So, what'd you find in the well? So, there were a lot of monsters behind that pile of rocks. Can't help thinking the princess knew about that monster den. She must have had the barricade put up to steal away the, the creatures and protect everyone here. Now, why the princess didn't say so, that's a mystery, but maybe she wanted to keep any panic from spreading. Or maybe it was a very temporary measure, but then she disappeared. Yep, a little speculation on my part, but that's going to be the story here. What do you say? Holds up, right? Our job is to follow the facts, and that's where they take us. Twelve places, strip and wobbles and more. That was the final rumor about Princess Zelda. Gonna report to Tracy. That means this is probably the last addition to your nest egg, partner. Ooh. I don't think there's a reporter anywhere else in Hyrule who makes that kind of money we're making. Really goes to show you how much Tracy, I mean, how much the newspaper values you. If I'm being honest. Though, I have a feeling our days of swooping in on scoops are at an end. Ugh, some water must have caught under the, my, my goggles. Really was a blast, partner. All that's left is to head back to Lucky Clover Gazette and let Tracy know that the job's finished. We need to make some educated guesses with our story. More than we normally do, but... I'll stand by this piece. We know our princess, after all. She had to have somebody's safety in mind. I'll get to writing all this up for the paper. You can take it care of it yourself. So long. What a nice guy. And that's pretty much the end of that. Okay. Let's go ahead and wrap this up, and then next up, we'll then go find... 
the last great fairy. Actually, how many great fairies have we found? Because the gear that I've upgraded was level two, but aren't there four great fairies? Have I only found two great fairies? I don't know. It'll have my undivided attention because I won't be dancing back and forth between that and the stables quest, so... That'll be good. It still has a giant roost up here because the guardian used to be there. It's a little... it's a bit goofy now. wee -hoo. Uh... Ma! Aha! Our trusty reporter. So, Link. Pens filled me in on all the de on all the latest. We were relieved that you managed to get to the bottom of every one of the rumors about Princess Zelda. The rumor come out. <laughs> Does Princess Zelda is dead? Oh wait, oh well, no. And our paper circulation is stronger than ever. I'm almost speechless. Oh. Enough of that. You probably just went, went, you probably just want what I promised. Well, fair enough, here's what you earned. Froggy. Wow. What do you think? Pretty good, huh? That'll help you stick with wet surfaces without slipping. Oh. In the end, we didn't actually uncover where Princess Zelda is, but now I know just who to call when we get another good lead. Until then, Link, you just keep doing what you do. Your part in all this will be clear soon enough, I bet. As for Penn, well, I've given him some time off with pay. Well deserved, too. He did a lot of reporting. I did tell him, hey, you say something nice to this partner after the to your partner after all this. I think I put him on the spot, Link. He looked at me in an odd way and flew off with barely a sore lung. He was right in the middle of writing a news article, too. Can't say I know what that was about. He's bottling something up, maybe. Oh, no. He's sad. He's not going to see his buddy any again any, anymore. By set. It is I, the Frogman. <laughs> it's vague. It's a little upsetting looking on some level. Well, I could follow up on where Pen went, but where did he go? He said that he looked sad and he and he and he flew off. Oh. So what do you say? Ready to start as an official reporter for the newspaper? I'm joking. It's just a joke. I know you already have your hands full searching for Princess Zelda, after all. But really, once all that's over, I may have a proper reporter job available for you. Hopefully you'd like that. That Pen would be here to say something as well, but I mentioned he's gotta he's gotta get training and improve myself. The only way to stay ahead. I'm gonna head to a place called Watch Watchers, Wasas. Hmm. Some kind of bluff. Not much is certain. It's at the edge of Hyrule Ridge off to the south. Don't remember exactly where. Also said something about a famous bard and that the only way to that was the only way to improve himself was to go there. I was glad to hand over the whole set of froggy armor, Link. You earned it. Besides, it was an impulse buy. It didn't fit me or, or my sisters. Or pen. So, the bluff to the south. The ridge. And a famous bard. So is it going to have... It's going to be Cass, right? Haven't I still not seen Cass in this game? I want to find Cass. Watcher's Bluff? I need to control F in this game sometimes. There's just so much fucking map. I don't know. Wash's Bluff. Thar. It's right thar. Eh. Is there a nearby tower? There really isn't. <laughs> there really is not a nearby tower. This is probably the best location to try. Thank <laughs> you. 
go this way, I can land on top of this part of the ridge at least. And not lose even more altitude. Or buy these things again. Here we go. Oh god. No! I don't have another gust thing. Okay. Yeah! Cool. I need to get to the bluff. Somewhere up there. I'm. I, uh misidentified so I was definitely ready for the one where you shoot arrows at, at bubble at a uh, at a uh, balloons and was very caught off guard when it was like go here now and I'm like oh crap I literally just spent my my gust me gusta I still Nope, there's the same overall ridge, at least. Oh, it's up there, isn't it? I bet it is. That's the one spot with a building, at least. There he is, there's Pen. This would normally be a kind of a pain to climb, but I've got form of uh, a disappointment. Okay, that one's okay. That one was just too steep, but this one's okay. I was worried I'd have to actually climb it. Cass. Oh, listen. Sir, I was promised Cass. Hmm. Thought there'd be at least some clue, but there's nothing. Huh? Oh, hey, partner. I didn't think I'd be running into you here. Oh. Did you hear how well the articles investigating the rumors of Princess Zelda did? Apparently, folks really enjoyed them. To think we were able to reveal the truth behind those stories. We make a great team. I did everything. Right, well, maybe it's not my place to say, but I think we made a great, a great team. Our first time working together, too. That's the right way to look at it, anyway. But I'll also say, in any given story, whoever did the earliest talking with sources probably gets the most credit for wrapping it up. So... Which of us was the most helpful one out there? We make a great team! It's nice of you to keep saying that, but look. You need to see it from this angle. On any given story, whoever got the first questions in with our sources maybe gets the most credit for where we get, where we got. Well then that was you. It's, you literally just stacked the- You literally just stacked the deck. First person who goes in and talks to your source- Yeah, you. You literally- I show up and you're like, here's the quest. You think so too, partner? My zeal for the truth behind the story is what got us to the answers, that's for sure. Hmm. <laughs> ah, who are we kidding? We both know that you were the one who did the most heavy lifting, partner. Yeah, but that's not what you asked. Without you, I wouldn't have gotten all the facts over our stories. Hard to look at myself in the mirror realizing that. It'll be good for me to relax in this place. A famous bard perfected his craft here, studying the songs of this land. Besides, our editor, Tracy... She told me to take some credit off, some time off. I'll stay right here and look out across the land, just like that bard. I'll get a, I'll get in touch with my reporting instincts. Then, you bet I'll get my talents on a huge scoop that'll knock you flat on your tail feathers, partner. You just wait. 
So, I'll leave that froggy armor with you for now. Wait, you think it, you think it won't fit me? Don't you worry, I can squeeze in that <laughs> into that any time. A little upsetting. He's insane. <laughs> He's just gonna look out on that horizon and master reporting? What are you gonna report on? The other guy was a musician. He could just hang out and play music until he got, until he figured it out. Where's Cass? Is he in this game or not? Fine. The real reason this game's worse than the other one is just of Cass. <laughs> Have I seen Cass? Am I imagine? I don't remember actually. Rest is a Hyrule Castle. Find Princess Zelda. He's born of water. Picking, cooking. Do I just need to, like, go to each great fairy fountain based on the map? And then based on that, like, figure out where to go next? I don't think I have a quest in progress right now for the great fairy fountain people. Maybe I do and I lost track. Or I don't remember what they said earlier. Hmm. One way or another, we'll figure something out. I'm a little high up. Which is helpful. Okay, no, there's the there's the troop down there, right? I was gonna go to the ferry, but. I believe that one lit spot is where the troop meets up. Yep. All right. We either already have the right troop member or something else. Oh, hello. You're a traveler, aren't you? I guess we're all travelers, aren't we? <laughs> one way or another. <laughs> yeah, you yeah, haven't by chance heard about a legendary pumpkin, have you? What? You don't know, of course. Why would my luck be any different today? Rumor has it that deep in a forest somewhere, there's a legendary pumpkin called the Master Gourd. <laughs> oh no. He misheard Master Sword, didn't he? I heard the flavor was powerful enough to defeat any monster, no matter how strong its stomach. But everyone I ask about looks at me like I'm talking nonsense. Maybe I was fed some bad info. You fool. Aha! Uh -huh. I know that face. Yes, that's a face I know. Have you come to meet another great fairy? I must be mistaken. I merely assumed because the great fairy culture was such a notable attraction in the Dueling Peak stable. Alas, the local great fairy hasn't emerged from her flower bud in quite some time. I'm sure that listen to Beat's drum so fondly. He used to be so good at beating his drum, beating his drum. Beats is this young drummer who plays for the stable trotters, but one day he took his leave from the troop. We haven't seen him since. Oh, there was that traveler who heard a drum somewhere. Where was that again? Kakoriko Village to the north? Where the road bends around Bunaru's stand? Is it marked? It is marked. Okay. That's helpful. It's also just straight north, so I guess it's faster to get there from here than it is to try to get there from any other tricks. Everyone keeps pointing out when I'm here. I don't like it. it. Feels rude. Stop saying what time I'm here. You're making me feel judged. Ah. Ah. Oopsie. Oh. Ah. I forgot to get rid of the bridle. Oh well. Just drag that thing. It's just extremely dangerous. Ed Beetle's dead. We killed him. Yay. <laughs> Ooh. Press the love me button. Ho ho ho. There we go. No! Calm, we're friends. There we go. Just gotta fill your soothe meter and then we'll be best friends forever and then you'll die horribly in a dragon fight. That never happened. Ho 
It's just a ter terrifyingly dangerous piece of wood on the back because I didn't want to go to the menu again. <laughs> No. Keep going. <laughs> soothe, smack, soothe, smack, soothe, smack, smack, soothe, smack. I am a good friend to the horses. Nope, not quite the right spot. Somewhere through here. Oh, here it is. Drummer boy, come here. Come on. But um, but um, but um, but yeah, come on, but um, but um. I'll bet my beat you can bring those bees. What? I quit. What are you doing? Whoa. Hey, hey, don't interrupt. I'm busy calling bees with my beat. Come on, don't talk, look at me like that. I know it's goofy, but I gotta try. See the conductor in the musical troupe I play and it's been a little down. I figured I'd make him some honey crepes. That should cheer up Maestro right up. But I can't get my hands on any coarser bee honey. How am I supposed to make honey crepes without the honey? But <laughs> that's shit. That's why I'm trying to lure some bees with the beat. All I need are three combs of honey. Someone said there were some beehives around Kakurgo Village, the north, near that huge hole that opened up. But that hole's pretty scary. No way I'm getting anywhere near there. Wait a second. Is that smells? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Alright. My beat didn't reach the bees, but I guess I got you moving. With these, I can whip up a honey crepe for the conductor of my troop on the double. Here's a little something for helping me get helping me out. Take it's yours. I'm getting so much money today. You say the stable treaders are back in action. What am I doing here then? They they need to br me to bring the rhythm. I don't know where they are, but if I hit up every single stable, I'll run to them sooner or later. Shouldn't be long before I can offer the troop leader my services again. Wait, well, until next time, if there's a- if there is next time, see ya. I understand that you can technically find this guy in a vacuum and then solve his problem and he disappears, but, like, bro, we know where your guys are. <laughs> They're right over here. Because they, they sent me here. This is not the in a vacuum context. The contextless context. This is- we are currently rife with context, overflowing with context. Chock full of to the brim the context. Context coming out of our ears and every other orifice in equal measure. Relative bandwidth be damned, that volume's coming out. <laughs> ah, fine. We kid, we kid, we like to kid sometimes around here. We're really funny. Ah, there's the man of the hour. Look at this, or rather, listen. It's Beats, our stalwart drummer. Beats has returned. A sorry troop leader I am, making my band members worry about me that way. What they really ought to be worried about is our declining audience. But the beating heart of the stable trotters pulses once more. The three cheers for our own Beats. Every member is essential for our signature sound. Together, we are not just the stable trotters in my heart will always be the stable gallopers we have done so much for us I, I hardly know where to begin let me start with this thank you thank you thank you and thank you that's five thank yous for the five of us Attention, everyone. This is the f new start for the table stable trotters. May our performances let the great fairies know. Oh, travelers. No, no, no. Let everyone in the world be awash in sweet, soothing music. Oh. 
I am brimming over with happiness to the point that I, could, I can't keep a lid on it. And I must say, it's good to see a friendly face. One who no doubt shares my concern for the Great Fairy. Oh. And you literally can't know about the Great Fairy already. I guess because I haven't visited her yet. The bridge of the Great Fairy is broken. How are horses supposed to cross? Bridge is no good. How are we going to cross the river? That's right. We can cross the river. It's the river, everyone. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. I'm scared. <laughs> they want to cross the river? Like in the vehicle? Oh yeah, this is an extremely destroyed bridge. I thought the objective might be to fix the bridge and go across it otherwise. Okay. Take a look around and see what's interactive around here. A sail. Wow. Where? What are you doing? You didn't do anything strange like that to our dear Breezer. I might have skipped the wrong dialogue here, just seeing all the repeating stuff. Am I allowed to stick stuff to it at all? I've done it before. Try to afford it. Um, so I think they just don't want me to use it at all. I don't think I understand this quest. I think I missed something and fucked up. But it, it just, he won't... I don't, I don't know how to make NPCs get on a boat I made. But they won't let me do anything to the breezer? Am I supposed to just create a bridge out of here? It seems hard to manage. Hmm. So what if I... Can I pick it up? Okay. Can I put it on it? So you didn't react to that? Okay. Hop in, I'll take you. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see how it goes. 
That was confusing logic about what you were and weren't allowed to do to continue. Uh oh. There we go. Kind of, uh, couldn't get in the driver's seat. Guess I'll just let it awkward to be over here now. Oh my god, it's so off. Off center. We'll be fine, it's just a massive disaster. Oh god, the camera. The camera does not like this. The camera does not like this at all. Great fairy. Places, everyone, places. The great fairy needs us. It's a me, Maestro. I've done it. Yeah, sir. I think my heart just picked up the tempo. The musical stylings of the stable trotters are the cure for anyone's malaise. Thank you once again. I've prepared a token of thanks. Often wants to fit the next great fairy. Who is that? Who? Damn it. <laughs> Which one have I not gotten to yet? Let's see, I can, I can probably Google them, the last one. Because I can probably look at my completed quests log to find which ones I've done so far. The feeling, it's so intoxicating. The beat of the drum has lit the fire deep in my heart. And what about you? Can you feel the heat? Are you ready for more? Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do. Need some necessary materials. Greatly enhance your clothing. <gasps> no! I need giant bright blooms. Shit, I need a lot of them. I need 45 of them? Those are the rarer ones. Those are a little harder to get. I can get a sticky lizard. <laughs> you wanna get a sticky lizard set? Uh, sure. Why not? I cannot afford to get shit, if I'm honest. Tunic of the Depths, it's the, end, it's the Gloom Resistance set, which is probably good for fighting Ganondorf as a final boss fight and whatnot. Or any other elements, of the bad, bad fights that have Gloom. Since I don't have that much reason to be in the Depths, but there is like whatever story comes. But if I don't have the rest of the set, then it's not going to be that strong now, is it? Here's These are the ones I'm more hesitant to upgrade, they require star fragments. And that's just... This just seems like it's a bit much. Yeah, I'll spend a rupee. You think I, you think I won't spend a rupee? Uh, uh. I got roops coming out the wazoo. You don't know where the wazoo is? You'll find out real fast when a roop comes out of it. <laughs> Flame Guard. Ah. Mm. Mm. 
Level three, large zone eight. Dazzle fruit. Really burning through some of my supplies here, but okay. Flame guard, why not? Oh, I forgot she has a different animation based on what level of the upgrade it is. And the last one just is like a... It looks like she's just going to eat you. This fairy is not strong enough. You can't just say that to someone. Ember trousers just require fire fruit, which I have one million of. Blowing a kiss. No, nope. well, I immediately don't have the next parts. Key swing, that's nothing. The only thing hard about get, getting key swings is the fact that everything that's a, every slight variation of keys counts as a different kind of key swing. So, I guess that would cut, that would uh, reduce your progress there. No. Nope. Let me try to skip the cutscene and screwing up. Here's the level two kiss. Like all the different variations of not kissing somebody, and then the last one's just actually a kiss, I guess, is the go through the through line. No, nope, I accidentally left. Oh well, that's fine. Just descends into the pit. Okay, it might be this one. But I'm not sure. But at the very least, there is one down there, so maybe, so maybe it's that one. Let's see if they're currently there, I guess. Oh, over there is where they would be. Might actually be on the right track. Okay. I wonder what they're missing then, or if I already found this member is, is, the, is the thing. Aha, uh -huh, I know that face. Yes, that's the face I know. Traveler, have you met to the great fairy? No, Kesa, blah, blah, blah. So I'm sure the sound of this flute would cheer her up somehow, but the road's been blocked by some rocks that tumble out of the sky. I thought maybe we could drive her, drive over it, but, and we did make it about halfway. But the rubble's just too much trouble. No horse can get past it, and our little jaunts took its toll, alas. No. Poor Breezer, the indispensable sixth member of our troop has broken down yet again. Our breezer has seen us through thick and thin. Without it, our hearts won't be in the performance. I'm thankful Piper has returned, but I'm so worried about the great about the great fairy that I just can't lead the players with the usual flair. So we do. Let's see. This is just behind it in the distance. So I feel like they just want us to use this. So it's like. It's not that deep to just have to make a little vehicle, but there's something very funny about the game just being like, fuck it, here you go. Just use the vehicle, use this. That's the, uh, puzzle? I guess we're calling these puzzles? Is that what we're gonna call it? The true puzzle is just trying to interpret what they want from me. And that you can't put stuff on the thing, but you can put it on things. There's the steering column. Oh. Oh, 
And, uh, oh, don't run over the lady. Okay, bye. Everything's fine. Well, the rocks don't look that bad. I mean, a horse isn't going to get a wagon over it, but the way that they're like this, you could definitely just make it, make it go. Okay, Goron, go away. <laughs> Goron, Goron, go away. You're not real. Just don't be in, just don't be directly in front of the vehicle. Why isn't he attaching it to it as an attack, for that matter? I guess that doesn't... That only works with, like, flying kind of vehicles, maybe? Okay, so this is where Piper would come up, but I already have Piper. Great fairy! We're here! Now, prepare for the performance of a lifetime. Look, Piper, look, she's awakened. Oh, I didn't know she'd be so shiny. Thank you again. I have a reward for you, and it's too much for these pockets to handle. No need to be humble, you deserve this. That's better. Now I can concentrate on our performance. Our musical troupe has finally performed for all the great fairies. I'm moved. I'm inspired. I'm beside myself with joy. Ah. Thank you so much for not giving up and forging on despite all the obstacles. Every time the great fairies emerged in response to our music, it gave all of us in this troupe confidence in our playing. Ah. Ever want to hear my beat stop by a stable? If we're there, I'll give you a rhythm to remember. Ooh. Show's not over. Far from it. We're just getting started. We'll keep playing and make audiences smile all over the kingdom. Mm. It's up to us to pour all our thoughts and feelings into our music when we play. From now on, I want our music to soothe every traveler who comes to the stables, not just the great fairies. Oh. I consider you an honorary member of our Grand Stable Trotters Troop. The Groupie. Might I know your name? Link, eh? Hmm. So that's what we can call the hero who saved our grand troop. I'll remember that. I surely will remember. Our grand troop will continue playing for one and all under a new name. We are the stable trotters no more. In honor of this great, genuine hero, let us be known as the stable heroes. Wow, you really gave yourself a name where you're just cooler because of me? Wow. I see what you did here. Hmm, mm, you're the one who brought the musical trip to me, aren't you? Don't be shy. I can do as you. I think you're enough, old man. Thank you for trying. to upgrade the materials. I can do maximum upgrade. It's a weird thing to say out loud to someone, as if that word means sense out of context. Just. Yes, I have the power to upgrade your abilities to maximum of what? You know, just the best in any uh, uh, piece of armor could ever be compared to s something. Yes. <laughs> I end up trying to match the text because they always re-explain sets over and over again. It's so annoying. 
Let's see, so I can't... She's powerful enough now, but I can't... Ah, large zonite. Even more rupees. I, I, I did, in fact, cap out on rupees. Damn. 500... It costs 500 rupees to the next upgrade. I don't think I even care about that piece of equipment enough, enough to upgrade it like that. I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Just kind of poking around a little bit, man. Our body part... No, is that... I don't really care about any of this stuff, I guess. It's whatever. Hi. Young man, I know what you've done for my family. My sisters are grateful, too. I'm feeling extra special. If you want to enhance your clothing, come back anytime. Take care. Right, so now I can farm upgrade materials to get slight increases to stats. Exciting. <laughs> Wee. The, uh, I think at most I'd like pick one or two sets usually. Like last time I might have picked like one or two sets and then figured out how to farm those resources. Outside of that context, it's kind of horrifying. You're like, oh my god, look how long you could spend just farming resources. I spent this long playing this game not even having this entire system unlocked and and like now I can do this too. It's just like I, I've already played this game longer than the entire previous game. What do you mean I unlocked an entire system I could spend 500 more hours on? <laughs> Let's go do a bit of a loose end in that we should uh, bring my dead horse back to life. Not the most mechanically useful thing to do, but I do feel bad my horse died. So I would like to make him not dead. Crazy. So up here is where we met the horse god. So I should be able to bring my horse back to life. That'll be good. Then I can just feel less bad about that. It only took me like six hours to remember to do it. And then I'll go probably take a look at the, at the main story. I could look at that one town thingy, but I don't think I want to do another big question right after the previous one. I think I'd like to poke at the story at least for a bit. But I do have zero concept of how far I am in the story. The only thing that stands out to me is that, like, whatever does happen, surely we'd get the Master Sword at some point. I think the Master Sword was optional last game, but this time around, uh, that seems like it shouldn't be an option. Nay, a horse, loyal and true, has fallen during your adventures. I could end you right here. I just... Ah, uh, a roasted Endura carrot. Shit. Okay. I have one Endura carrot. Does this work to make a flaming stick? It does, okay. Mm -hmm. That's too far away. No! this annoying. 
I know there's people who love this, but Jesus Christ, that's just so annoying to navigate how to do that. And just be like, fucking, I pressed one wrong button and now I lost the resource and... I was just trying, just trying to make it go next to the fire to the roast it. Just wanted to roast it. People always brag about how DIY this game is and how you, you could just go instead of, uh... Instead of having to go back to a specific thing, you're like, haha, I'm so good at, at Tales of the Kingdom, I just... Da -da -da, make your own fire, go fly into the sky, cook stuff on the fly, all this stuff, go, whoa! And then I'm like, alright, so I do this, then I do this, and ah, one misclick and it's all broken. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> alright, whatever. Guess he's dead. Whoops. <laughs> Princess Zelda, who appeared at the Hyrule Castle, turned out to be the imposter created by Demon King Ganondorf. The Demon King isn't fully regenerated, so there may still be time. Return to Lookout Landing and talk to Pura. That was my only Endura carrot. I guess if I find another one, I'll roast it separately. There's Rito flying around. Ooh, this thing's chugging a bit around here. Okay. What is up? I knew that we... I guess we... Yeah, we knew that we were using their powers. But it's something, it's just something, it is some kind of, uh, yeah, I guess it doesn't make sense. I guess I'm just used to the idea of the, it being the sages and whatnot from the past. So the fact that all four of the people that my powers are based on are also just here in person is a little funny. Yes. But it doesn't actually not make sense. It's just, just feels odd. I'm not really stabbing people around in Zelda games honest, half the time, honestly. Welcome back. Looks like it was pretty tough. So, how'd it go? Bad. Hmm. I see. So, to summarize, there's no mistaking that what you all saw at the, at the castle was the Demon King from the Legend of the Imp Imprisoning War. And the princess that you've been seeing was actually an imposter. And the reason she appeared at Hyrule Castle was so the Demon King could lure Link into a trap. I knew something seemed weird. I mean, about Princess Zelda not doing anything to help the, with these troubles everywhere in Hyrule? But it's all connected. The upheaval, the problems our homelands have been facing, the fake princess. It's all happening because of the Demon King came back. So then, that means that Princess Zelda isn't actually here? Instead, she's just in the distant past and not in the present, right? Yes. We should consider that that to be the case, bizarre as it sounds. It also seems that Princess Zelda was trying to, to somehow defeat the Demon King in the past. Mm. Our ancestors made a vow to Zelda. They swore that when the Demon King was revived, their descendants would awaken as sages and fight alongside Link. Oh. But with Princess Zelda in the past, we can't ask her what the plan is supposed to be. And she can't be here to fight with us, either. We also don't know anything about the Demon King, other than the fact that he's bad news and super strong. What do we do? Mm hmm. Hmm. Based on what you have each told me, it appears the princess was making preparations in anticipation for the Demon King's revival in this era. There must be some hint we still haven't figured out here in our time. Right you are. We cannot afford to stand still at a time such as this. It is imperative that we act. Hmm. Without any leads. Oh, wait. You said the six sages were the, the were the King Rao Ru when he fought against the Demon King during the impre Imprisoning War, right? Over with Rao. Wind. Fire. Water. Lightning. Heart! And, and time. That was the princess. 
Oh! Wow. I see. Huh? What is it? What do you see? Huh. That's it. There was one more sage back then. The Sage of Goats. The Sage of Earth. Huh. Exactly. One more sage that might be here now. I'm sure this will lead... This is the lead we were hoping for. It will be well with our... <laughs> It'd be well worth our while to search. Each of you awakened as sages at ruins from the a Age of Legends, right? Maybe the remaining sage is in a similar location. Hmm. That makes sense. So, we should search major ruins for this a the Age of Legends. There is... There as good a place as any to start. If we just searched all of Hyrule randomly, we'd probably never find the sage. Huh. Alright! We have a plan. Let's split up and work and get to it. Yeah. You four go back to your homelands and gather information about ruins that might be related to the remaining sage. Linky, search around and see if you can find any other undiscovered leads. Huh. Everyone's relying on you. Don't let us down. <laughs> yep. Find the fifth sage. Whoa. We have to protect Hyrule, no matter what. Princess Zelda wanted that. But the Demon King's power is a force to be reckoned with, so for now, we need to search for the fifth, f fifth sage. Following the upheaval, I mobilized the Zonai survey team and investigated ruins connected to the Zonai. But so far, they found, no they found nothing about the fifth sage. There must be some clue hiding out there that we haven't found yet. I can feel it. Okay. Find the fifth sage. So we've done three entire uh, quests slash storyline slash planet spanning things that are all about looking, uh, finding information about Zelda and her disappearance. Technically four. One of them was the main story. That's the one I wasn't thinking about, but going to the four locations involved Zelda frequently. Uh, then you have the journals that are on stones in the sky. That was a weird one, and their information wasn't very interesting, so it just was hardly worth such a grand uh, hiding place. Then we had the the reporting stories that we just did, that were the investigative reporting. And then we also had the actual memories, that are the same memories from last game, but this time they're attached to geoglyphs. Uh, those ones were much more illuminating, but the other two were mostly pointless. And the main story one was also not really illuminating about Zelda. So it's really just the geoglyphs. Uh, but we found them all. So, you know. Hmm. Hmm. The ruins of the Age of Legends. Okay. So we're given kind of a clue, but if you don't know what they mean, then have fun. Great Hyrule Forest. Me, though, Swamp. Those ones aren't called ruins, necessarily. I do wonder if it's just going to be the Temple of Time. But I don't know about that either. Oh, this is an indoor... I can just do this, probably. Bye! It was an indoor ruin. Alright, so I figure we'll go check out... Ooh, is it cold here? How cold? Not cold enough to matter, bye! 
I might kind of give up on shrines. I don't know. I could definitely try to completionistly find them all, but there's... I don't know, there might still be so many left. And they've been getting kind of disappointing. So I might just kind of like... Let the story go. I'm not sure if anyone's quite as uh, committed as a... Uh, engaged, committed, no, it's uh, invested. I'm not sure if anyone's quite that, that quite invested in the idea of me getting every single shrine. So I feel like I feel like there's like a there might be a growing apathy just to ever, for everyone to them. Oh, I made them sick. I'm going towards the light. What? You're not Zelda. Oh, it's a. Uh, are you uh, another Giga clan? Excuse me, traveler. Do you know me by any chance? Who am I? Where am I? Am I some sort of villain or a force for good? Just can't remember. You're Princess Zelda. Zelda, that's right. I'm Princess Zelda. Thank you. Now I remember. I didn't think you would fall for the same trick again. Clearly Zelda makes for good bait. Vengeance for Master Koga. Oh my god. Damn. Dang. Wow. Rude. I hit you with a stick. Anyway, I meant to go investigate the Temple of Time, because that's an old ruin, right? That's a... I don't know if that's the logic we're going for or not, but it's... an idea. <laughs> yeah, where would we find Mineru? Mineru. Pots! Old-timey Zelda pots. Dead. What up, big angel? Barely second heal. I can get another heart container. Let's see. Oh, this didn't amount to much. Hmm. It was not there. There's, uh... Kakariko Village. That's the place where the, there was the giant rings that fell down. So those were significant. And they were specifically like, don't look at this. No, stop it. You can't go there. So maybe they'll, maybe I can do it now. Maybe that was just an explicit story gate that you couldn't do until now. That would make a kind of sense. There it is. Ah. Master Link, hello. Oh. You thinking about the floating ring ruin? I am as well. It's been on my, our minds for some time. Mm. Would you like to suggest resuming the free cert? We would like to re suggest resuming the research, if we may. Have you since figured out what became of Princess Zelda? <laughs> what? The princess who appeared after the upheaval was a creation of the Demon King? And the real princess still hasn't been found. But how could this be true? Mm. Such an unbelievable tale, and yet... I, 
I trust you completely, Master Link. It must be as you say. It is hard to explain, but the princess we saw was somehow unfamiliar. It was as though her very aura was different. She was an imposter the whole time. That would mean... The real reason she ordered us to close off the floating ring ruin was... Because the Demon King saw it as a threat. Isn't that right? That only means one thing. We should investigate the floating ring ruin immediately. You are exactly right. There's no longer any reason to prohibit your research. Let's open up the floating ring ruin at once, Mr. Tauro. Knowledge is tugging on the line. Time to reel in some results. <laughs> Your Laurel and phrasing is coming through, Mr. Tauro. You must really be pleased. Aww. It's just, uh... Hmm. There's one problem. We still need to determine how to conduct the survey. Aww. It's clear that the interior of this ring ruin is hollow. Sadly, there doesn't seem to be an entrance. The contents of the other ring ruins or any other indication, there should be a stone slab inside engraved with Zonai's script. Mm. First, we should look for a way to confirm that there's a stone slab inside. However, we also don't want to damage the, those precious ruins. Oh. oh, pardon me, I was lost in thought. I'd better hurry and tell everyone about this so we can open up the ruins. Is there going to be another temple? A fifth temple? For the fifth sage? Or are they going to skip on that? Am I going to be the fifth sage? Am I going to inherit it from an Eru? Yep, I'm allowed to come here now. Okay. This is one of the goofiest parts of the entire L uh, narrative is the fact that uh, the, the place to check out next was right here, and as a player, you probably will have investigated it. They just wouldn't let you look at it any closer. Like, no! Don't go over there! It's the spoilers! It's gonna... It's, it's gonna spoil the fifth sage! And they couldn't come up with any other reason to keep you away, or like a really clever way to be like, What? That place all along? It's like, yeah, it's just that very obviously conspicuous place, but they just... Told, they just told you not to go there anymore, and you might have forgotten about it since then, because they've just not let you interact with it. Is it a photo situation? Yep. Probably work a little better if it was like in the underworld or something. But if it was some, if it, if it, uh, if it came up, up as like a cool, clever, uh, like subversion of expectations or like an iteration on a thing that you knew existed, like oh my god, that place! Like there's there's a, definitely like games that riff on this in an epic way, like Tunic. And so like all things considered, this is kind of lame. Like, this is cool looking, but the fact that it was just here the whole time and they just slap you away if you try to look at it by putting an NPC there and that's the best they could come up with for for why you couldn't go there sooner is just kind of not... It's kind of disappointing. Oh, looked like you disappeared into the ring. But that can't be right. Ugh, forget I said anything. I must have imagined it. What's this you got? Huh? Could it... Could it really be? Huh. Hiya! Caleb! Look at this! No. Could this be? The interior of the floating ring ruin? Wow! The stone slab is so clearly visible! Huh? There appear to be Zonai inscriptions on this one as well. Just like in the other ring ruins. Tauro, if you would. Uh. Right, let me see what I can decipher. Hmm. Promise, Zelda, solemnly signed, Mineru, Sage of. Hide the key, southeast, and trust future wish defeat Demon King. That's all I can make out. There must be. That was actually Tauro talking. 
There must, there's some lettering I can't figure out before Southwest, but Mineru seems to be someone's name. No. Huh. Look at the context of Mineru. I do believe this is the first time one of these slabs has put a name to a sage. It also mentions Zelda and a Demon King. How fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> the inscriptions are telling us all sorts of ancestral information. What's the matter? Mm. Oh, nothing. It's just that part before the southeast section. I think it says Dragonland. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh. oh, you're right. Paya knows her stuff. This should read as Dragonland Southeast. Fantastic work, Paya. Uh -huh. Oh, thank goodness I've proven useful. It seems my continued Zonai language studies have paid off. Oh no, I'm being upstaged. Uh, um, uh, where are were we? Uh, something about a dragon land at the southeast. Mm -hmm. hmm, how familiar are you with the southeast of Hyrule? There's a site in Faron that has long been known as the Zonai Ruins. It predates the ruins falling from the sky and is home to many ancient relics. If memory serves, there was a dragon designs on all the ruins that I haven't seen anywhere else. <laughs> oh, Caleb, great catch! Zonai Ruin and Faron. A good chance that's exactly what the, what this is pounding us, us at. Mm. That's our Callip. Fantastic work. Oh. I uh. What did what did you say? <laughs> that this inscription's pointing us towards Faron Zonai Ruins. Oh. No, not that. Uh, the, the next bit. A certain adjective was used. I believe it started with fan and ended with tastic. What's that again? Mm. Uh, fan fantastic work, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> yes, fantastic work. That's what you said. <laughs> yes. Alep, what fantastic work he said. <laughs> fantastic. Me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn, he's going to jump his bones the moment we walk away. Link, when we put together the script on the stone slab and translate it, we get definite mentions of the Sage Mineru, the Demon King, and someone with the same name as Princess Zelda. Something related to all three of them must be waiting at the Zonai Ruins in Southeast Hyrule. Uh. We've landed on a real catch here. Thanks for your help, truly. Now, we've no time to dawdle. There's research to be done. <laughs> Gallop, will you join me? <laughs> oh, uh, of course, it would be a <laughs> fantastic addition to the team. Very good. Uh, with that settled, let's be off to the Zonai Ruins in Faron. First, we're at Southwest. We'll establish a base in the Popla Foothills at the Skyview Tower by the Ruins. You just said we'll, we'll head Southwest? Is that Southwest from here? Maybe. Oh, wait. Right. We're not in Skyview or anything. Search of new discoveries. <laughs> we make for Faron. Give me the Master Sword. There's such a big zone that I'm not allowed to step foot in yet. This is just the, uh, the entirety of that area. They left, just like that. Well, I'm sure those two will be fine. I must study more about the Zonai civilization so I don't fall behind Tauro and Kalib. Yet it seems somewhat frivolous next to the mystery of the real Princess Zelda's whereabouts. I don't doubt that she is safe and well. I must believe that. As chief of this village, I can't leave my people, so I must place the search in your capable hands. I pray that Princess Zelda will return to us soon. Me too. All right. Search the ring ruins. Find the fifth state. Nope, that's the other thing. Secret of the ring ruins. And that's where we're going to pick up next. No, I'm not crazy. That is... No, yeah, it's southwest. Just the direction when I look at the map overall, I'm like, it's the southeast, but it's southwest of where we are, obviously. Obviously, 